What's up everybody? I'm a shark. Welcome to the channel. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm a shark. I'm not a very good shark, but um, Brian wasn't very fast. So uh, that made him very delicious. He's a little overweight. So it made him very delicious uh, and easy to catch, which is good because I'm not a very good shark. So uh, he was a pretty good fisherman though. So I kept his gear and I'm gonna use it to try and catch some more fish. Cause like I said, I'm not a very good shark. He was a pretty good fisherman. So I'm gonna try and use his stuff to catch me some food. Cause uh, I'm a shark and I wanna eat fish. So let's catch some fish. I got some live bait. Let me show you my live bait. So there's some live bait swimming around in there, a couple mud minnows, some grass shrimp. You know, it wasn't a lot, but a couple, enough to set up a live bait rig and see if something wants any of that. And then I got some frozen bait I'm gonna cut up as well. So we're gonna get some stuff going. Let's, let's catch some fish. All right, so I got me a mud minner. I'm gonna hook him upwards through the mouth face. Ah, come here, dude. Yeah, they don't really like it that much, but... And then... We've got... A little bit of... Water to wade through here... To this bar. I'm just gonna go ahead and go out on the bar. Because that's where we're gonna go... In just a moment. With all of our stuff. We're gonna wait out here... So there's a first trough right behind those breakers there. We're gonna go just beyond it. That's not bad. That should be like right in it. There's a hit on Noodle Rod, as he called it. That's fresh cut bait, then we're setting up the big rod. Wunderbar. All right, so first we're gonna get this rod back out where it was, see if we can maybe get another one of those. And then set up the bigger cut bait rod. That's not terrible at all. So got some fresh whiting small pieces instead of frozen ones on my pompano rig as well. Now we're gonna do the crossing with the cart. It'll be bumpy, but it's shallow right here. I'll just go nice and easy. Hopefully nothing bites while I'm doing this. I 
There we go. We are fully fishing from the bar. Oh, that's a hit on the uh, big cut bait. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, that might be stingrayish, unfortunately. The way it's set right now like that. Get up. Come on, show yourself. It's right there in the shallows. Stingray. Okay, handle this guy real quick. As a shark, I've never really been a fan of stingrays. They, uh, always show up to the party unannounced ray is kind of like that looks like i also caught a piece of someone else's rig at the same time or he was on someone else's rig that's what it is i think we're going to be taking two hooks out of this guy we're going to do him a favor today uh flip you this oh look out bubbles come on now you're going to like what i'm doing oh no we are just hooked around Someone else is pumping a rig out there. So we're gonna get our hook out and it's gonna solve, it's gonna get two birds stoned at once. Look at that. We caught another pumping rig and Lord knows how much fishing line with our rig. Put this up here by our stuff. Take it with us. Free weight. That's probably about all that's good on there. But free weight. And then, uh, let's get old Ray. Let's get old Ray back in the water here. This is what I do with them. I just grab the bottom jaw of my pliers. As long as they're not too big. This is definitely a fine size to do this with. It won't hurt them. Uh, take them out here where they can swim off, give them a little head start, and boom, off they go. See you, Ray. Let's go cut up another piece of that whiting. It's really hard to not eat it uh, right now, but uh, I'm going to trust the process. <laughs> that that fish will bring me bigger bloodier fish because i want big bloody fish because i'm a shark and i like big bloody fish because i'm a shark so let's cut another piece of fish that's definitely a hit on an old noodle we got this one Wants it be a whiting eating a whiting. I will say I think, I'm pretty sure that this one's a fish, not a, and not a stingray. What do we got? Nice blue fish. Let's see if you're big enough, Bubbles. shark with ethics 
because I'm going to make sure he's big enough before I just munch him, munch, 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 munch him down. Nope. Just shy of 11, a little over 10 and a half. Fork on the zero. So not big enough to keep. All right, little, little blue fish. You'll be keepable probably in a few months. But for now, you get to go bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Sharks with ethics, who knew? hook, small bait, short leader, aerodynamic rig, screw all those crimps, with a six ounce Sputnik, full send. that one of these baits is still good we'll get the other one rehooked that was fast on that rig Acceptable. Uh oh, big rod's getting hit. Big rod's getting hit. Sometimes they just kind of turn nose in and get pulled in. What is that? Is that a little trout? A little bitty trout. You're too little to keep for sure. But, shows I had the bait in the right zone. trout these fish need to be bigger that's not even a snack for me i'm a really big shark i ate brian and i'm still hungry so those things are gonna have to be much bigger than that the one on the end yeah Uh, what are you?
a bigger trout. I'm gonna have to use the pliers to unhook this one. I still don't think he's big enough. Twelve inches, two inches too short. There is in fact a fish on. What have we got here? I caught a whiting on some cut whiting. No big fish. You better swim like the dickens. That was a good hit on this rod. Good hit on this rod. Do I have it? Yeah, I have it. I don't know what I have, but I have it. I think there's something hitting the big rod too. Oh! Those sit downs like that always feel very stingrayish. What are you? Another trout. Another undersized trout at that. That also choked it. We can get that. Got this trout undone. I think there's probably another one on the big rod on the end. This guy wants to go pretty bad. So we'll oblige him. See you, buddy. Whatever's on the end has waited this long. So I'm gonna go ahead. Put this guy back out.
Pretty sure there's something here. Yeah, something pulled back. Ooh, something pulled back a little bit harder. Man, please be a keeper-sized trout. How great would that be? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I had a, one of my shark friends took my food. Oh, ow. So uh, here's evidence that spots make good bait for sharks. Um, I guess uh, I could put him like this. And just put it right back out there and see what happens. Hold on for dear life, really, is what will happen. If whatever that was picks up that back up again. Let's just give it to him. something's messing with this. Give it just a second and see. <laughs> and then that will probably be the end for this rod because we are getting to dead low tide here almost. That's going to do it for this episode of Fishing Control. We definitely caught a bunch of fish, but none within the legal spectrum. Um, it's always fun to get out here, uh, especially for something like Halloween. I hope everybody has a very happy and safe Halloween. Brian didn't. I'm a shark and I ate him. Uh, but uh, the fishing is still pretty good out here. Um, this is the first day in a while I didn't get any keepers. I could have probably kept all those whiting and made a little fry out of that, but I wanted some trout or some bluefish. Been enjoying that a lot. But anyway, again, I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween. Thanks for watching this episode of Fish and Control, and we'll see you on the next trip.
Thank you.